In this video we'll take a look at using the Digital Forensics tool Magic Rescue. To begin with I'm going to go ahead and click on the K menu. I'm going to go to Backtrack, Digital Forensics, File Carving, and then I'll find the Magic Rescue utility for us to use. When we open that up we see the structure for using the command and you'll see that it says Magic Rescue. So that's the beginning of my command. I'll go ahead and type that in, Magic Rescue. And then we've got a list of different options that are available for Magic Rescue. More notably, we're going to use the dash D, which is going to be my output folder. So this is going to be my option for the output folder. And then the dash R is going to be a list of my recipes that we're going to use. Now the recipes are basically the file extensions and the code that's needed to extract that type of file out. And so let's take a quick look and see what's actually on the Backtrack operating system as far as our recipes are concerned. We'll need to do that by going to Conqueror. So I'll open up Conqueror. I'm going to go ahead and type in the forward slash and then the USR for our user folder. Then we'll need to go to the share folder. Once we're in the share folder, I'm going to need to find that magic rescue folder. And there it is, magic rescue. And then there I'll find my recipes. And so these are a list of recipes that are currently with this operating system by default. And you can see that the two that I'm going to be pulling out are both the JPEG ones. Now there are quite a few other recipes here, such as the Microsoft Office. You can also pull out some MP3s, zip files, PNGs, and so forth. So these are the options that are built in here by default. For this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and just do the, both of these JPEGs. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and add those recipes in there. So I'm going to use the dash R, and then we're going to go ahead and do our first recipe, which was JPEG dash JFIF. And now I'm going to also do the second uh, recipe. So I'm going to do another dash R for my second recipe. And that's going to be a JPEG dash EXIF. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a space, and we're going to now designate our output directory. So I'm going to use the dash D. And this is where all the folders, all those JPEGs, are going to actually be extracted out of my hard drive and put into this folder. And you can see that on my desktop, I've currently got a folder called Forensics, and this is the location that I want to actually have this folder or actually have this file carving be extracted too. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the forward slash root forward slash forensics. And now this is a uh, live CD of Backtrack, so my root directory is going to also be the same as my desktop in this case. So I've got my recipes and I've got my destination folder in there. Now all I need to do is add the actual hard drive that I want to extract all my information from. So to find that I'm going to go ahead and open up another terminal and we're going to use the fdisk command with a dash L argument. And you're going to see that I've got three hard drives listed here. An HDA, an HDB, and an SDA. The HDA with this partition here, which is HDA1, this is where my Windows operating system is loaded on. Since I'm running this as a live CD, I'm running basically the operating system from the CD and the hard drive still has the whole Windows operating system installed on it and that's this particular hard drive. So this is the device that I want to use for my extraction. So we're going to go ahead and type in the forward slash DEV forward slash HDA1. Now before I hit enter I just want to warn you I'm going to get an error. One of the bugs here within this operating system for this application is that I actually don't have all the packages installed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and you may see something similar to this where you'll find this no uh, output file, this JPEG TRAN as being a problem. I'm going to go ahead and hit control C to quit out of this and what we're going to do is we're going to fix this real quick. So you may end up having the same problem if you're using Backtrack 4 Release 2. And I'll show you how to fix this as we go on. And so from the command prompt, we're going to go ahead and install an application. So I'm just going to type in apt-get apt-get install. And then what we want to install is this package called libjpeg-progs. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to go ahead and go through and I want to install this package. And so, oh, it looks like my networking is currently turned off. So let's go ahead and if your networking is turned off, you're going to want to do this as well. I'm going to go ahead and type in the forward slash Etsy, forward slash Annette.d, forward slash networking, space, and start. And this is going to turn on my networking for my computer so that I can actually get an IP address and communicate on the internet. And now that it runs for back to my command prompt, let's go ahead and try this again. This app get installed, the libjpeg-progs. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now it's going to go ahead and download and install this package for me. 
And now that this package is actually installed, I'm going to go ahead and hit the up arrow twice, or three times. There we go, four times. Until we get the magic rescue command back up here again. So now we're going to run the magic rescue command just like we did before. I'll hit enter. And as I hit enter, you'll notice it's, it's a little bit different. I don't have the error. So it's found all these JPEGs. It's going to go through and it's going to run for a little while. I'm going to let it run and we'll come back when it finishes. And so when you return back to the command prompt, like you see here, it uh, means that it's finished. And it's taken about, uh, about five to six minutes to actually run through the hard drive. Here was a 30 gig hard drive to pull out the images. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And we're going to see that in the forensics folder now, you'll see a list of all of the JPEG files that were actually pulled out. And so there they all are. Uh, so we were able to carve out all of the JPEG pictures from that hard drive. It was a Windows hard drive that was available. And this concludes our video on using Magic Rescue to extract JPEG files from a Windows hard drive.